Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan and today I'm going to be doing my first ever readathon and my first ever reading vlog. So we'll see how this goes. So I already read this book. I'm doing, oh I didn't even say, I'm doing the Grisha Longathon that was created by uh, Reads with Cindy and uh, Paperback Dreams. So I'm going to be reading the Grisha trilogy as well as the Six of Crows duology, um, but I'm slow at reading, so I already read Shadow and Bone. I just finished it a couple days ago, um, but today is the first technical day of the Grisha Longathon, so I will be starting the second book in the series, which is Siege and Storm. So uh, yeah, this should be fun. This should be good. And today I'm also going to be filming my thoughts on Shadow and Bone because. Uh, I have many so you're gonna get a review I will be doing reviews throughout and then I think I'll post the reading vlog at the end as a sort of bonus content thing so you'll see my live reactions just to catch you guys up though because obviously I have read Shadow and Bone uh, I have very mixed feelings if you didn't see the review I'll just do a little brief overview of my thoughts I really like the world. I wish it was a little bit more developed, but I really like the potential of the world. I haven't really seen many fantasy novels that are inspired by Imperial Russia, and I think that's kind of fun and awesome. On top of that, I really like some of the side characters, especially the Darkling and Genya, but oh my god, I hate Alina so much. She is such a passive and weak protagonist. She drives me nuts. Also, Mal is just like the plainest dude. He has no personality, so I'm not really sure how I feel about them in general. Uh, actually, I, I am kind of sure, and it's bad. So we'll see how that develops in the other books. If I wasn't doing this readathon, I don't know if I would be continuing with this series, but I do think it has potential with the world and the magic system and stuff, so we're gonna go for it. We're doing it. We're participating in this adventure. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. So I was hoping to film the Shadow and Bone review today, but I still need to write a lot of the video. Like, I've written the non-spoiler section, but I still need to write the spoiler section, which takes a long time. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight, because I'm running out of daylight already. I went out last night, did the social thing, and uh, stayed out late, so I woke up at 11, which is unheard of for me. I never wake up past like 9 a.m. So, we lost a lot of day. We're, we're not going to get it done, um, so I'm going to write the review or the rest of the review, I guess, out tonight, so that's not happening. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a jump on the Siege of Storm reading, because your girl, as I mentioned, is a slow reader, so we're gonna make some tea, and then we're gonna settle in, and we're gonna read the book, and it's gonna be amazing. Je suis dans la vie comme dans mes rêves Et quand je crève, je suis le cri De qui me croit ou qui me prie Je suis comme ça dans la vie Je renie jusqu'à mon sang Et je ne sens plus qui je suis Il n'y a plus d'innocent J'aimerais dire que je sais ma route Et que je ne doute que quand j'ai bu Mais vu que je suis à nu Plus personne avec qui Ruminer mes envies et vivre sans avoir l'air J'ai comme un courant d'air Derrière la vie mon frère Pleure de me voir si triste Okay, so I am currently on page 45 of Siege and Storm, and so far I'm feeling an overwhelming meh still. Um, I feel like there's a missed opportunity because Alina and Mal don't really do it for me. Neither of them are that interesting to me. In fact, I really don't like Alina. And I think this could have been a great opportunity for them to bond and for us to get to know them better because all of their development, it was either kind of told to us, um, but not really shown to us, or it just kind of skipped over because they were friends since childhood and we didn't see them growing up. So I don't really feel that connection that they clearly feel for each other and instead it's just told that they have that connection. So I would have loved to have seen some development before um, basically they get separated again. I don't know how spoilery I should get with this, but I feel like it's there's going to be some light spoilers inevitably 
with uh, with this vlog. So if you haven't read the series, just know going in, there's going to be light spoilers, probably. Um, but I'll not do anything insane as far as the spoiler stuff goes. But I'm going to try to get to at least page 100 by the end of the night, but I still need to do the uh, some of the writing for the... Siege, no, not Siege and Storm. What's the first one? Shadow and Bone. The Shadow and Bone review. So, we're working on it. It's late and I look a mess, so you're not going to see my face right now, but I'm just, I'm on page 60 and I gotta say, it is already, like, the pacing is bothering me. It's going by so fast. I feel as, like events are just happening way too quickly. Um, and, like, it's nice to be thrown into things when it's the start of the book but it just feels like there's not necessarily like a goal or a purpose set out and things are just happening which was kind of a big problem for me with the previous book um but I think this is even worse so we'll see how it develops but right now I'm a little concerned no freaking way so I look the next page it literally says it felt wrong like everything was happening too quickly as if we were rushing towards something we didn't understand me with this book right now uh okay so I've just finished my review and editing the review of Shadow and Bone and now it is uploading to YouTube so now I can get some reading time in and I'm gonna be continuing with Siege and Storm and hopefully it picks up a little bit but we shall see so you know I'm just reading and uh Alina is the worst. I'm on page 99 and uh, we've discovered some things uh, found in a book and if you've read this then you'll know what I'm talking about probably. Uh, but Alina's discovered some new way to get powerful basically and uh, she's gonna she's gonna do that so good for her. Okay so here's the thing. Alina is like you know figuring out her new powers uh, which by the way that again just felt way too rushed but she's figuring out her new powers and she's all like mm, yes I'm fine and but she's like slowly becoming a greedy witch and not slowly like she's like quickly becoming a greedy witch like I'm not about her character at all but then Mal's all concerned he's like uh you okay buddy you don't seem okay you don't seem like you got this under control and she's like buddy I'm fine I don't know. It just seems a mess, to be honest. For the most part, I don't mind Lee Badugo's writing. In fact, I kind of enjoy it. But, like, sometimes she just show or she tells rather than shows in such obvious ways. Like, one of the crewmen was tangled in the ropes. Mal dove down to help extricate him, and I nearly wept with relief when they both broke the surface. That's, like, a sentence. And that's, like, so much... That, that could have been a scene, you know? And it would have been so much more powerful, but... Instead, I nearly wept with relief when they both broke the surface. I don't know, it just seems kind of lame to me. Alina just punched Nikolai in the face. Nikolai is a prince. And she just punched him in the face. And it seems so out of character for her. Like, who is this girl? Like, she's like, oh yes, must have mercy on stags and Volcra, but I will punch a prince in the face. Who are you? I don't understand. I want to cry, but it's fine. Okay, good night. Okay, guys, so it is day three of the Gersha Longathon, and I am only 174 pages into Siege and Storm, so I am behind. I'm supposed to be done this book today, I think, um, or I kind of bought myself another 0.75 days by reading the first book early, uh, so, but we're, we're still behind. We're not finishing this book tomorrow. You know, we're struggling through. I do like Nikolai. Everyone's like, you will love Nikolai, and so far I do. I don't know if he's gonna save it for me, though. Everyone's like, you're gonna hate Mal. Uh, I don't know if I do. I kind of, I kind of like Mal more in this book than I did in the last one, uh, but I, that, you know, that could change. I'm not discounting that as a possibility. I still am not a fan of Alina. She is very dramatic. She, her character is like a chameleon, uh, but not in the, like, clever way, like Nikolai, where he's, like, changing because he's manipulating people and because he's clever and charming and knows how to work people. No, Alina's just changing because she doesn't know who she is, I think, and the author doesn't know who she is. Um... But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm hoping to get to page 200 tonight and then uh, 
that's probably all I'm going to be able to manage and hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more reading done over the next couple of days but I'm not sure if I will because work has been super busy so we shall see. Hey guys, so today has been busy, super busy at work, um, but I have gotten some reading done, which is nice. I think, let me check, I am on page uh, 266, so I didn't quite make it to page 200 last night, but I at least got quite a bit of reading done today, and I'm going to continue to read. I'm hoping to get to page like 300-ish, um, hopefully past that uh, tonight. We'll see how that goes. I have mixed feelings because while I'm liking the book a lot more now, uh, especially now that they're at the little palace again, things are really starting to pick up, um, which is weird because the plots slow down, which I think has really helped. But I think the characters are now really starting to find footing and find the ground, and I'm really starting to get a sense of what the characters are. It's getting more interesting politically, um, so I'm really excited about all of that developing. But I will say, Alina still kind of confuses me. Also, <sighs> Alina tries to kill someone. Who is this chick? I don't understand what her character is. And I get it, like, power's confusing. I get that, don't worry. I'm not dumb, but still, jeez. She, this girl, I don't know. I don't know who she is. I don't know what she is. I don't know why she is. That being said, everyone's like, I got so many comments on my last video being like, mm, you're gonna hate Mal, but like, I don't. I like Mal. I like Mal a lot, actually. Um, I think he's very human, and I think that he's very interesting, and I think he's relatable. Nikolai, though, I'm really enjoying. We'll see if that also changes, gets better, gets worse, uh, but right now I really like him, so... We're just gonna keep on reading. I got my tea, I got my book, and we're hopefully gonna get to page 300, 315, but I have an early morning tomorrow, so we shall see. But yeah, this might be my last vlog for the night. Hello guys, it is Friday, and I've missed a couple days of filming because I'm the worst. I did get a little bit of reading done at work, but the last couple days have been insane at my job. So I just didn't have the chance to film, I didn't have the chance to read a ton. Uh, I've made a bit of good progress today, so that's really nice on the subway and at lunch. And I, I'm close to the end now, it's the climax basically, I'm on page 401. So we're getting close, and I am, you know, I'm liking the book a lot more. And I'm excited to see where the third one goes, well I'm excited to see where this one ends, if it ends well, because um, I think that'll kind of dictate how my feelings towards the third one are, but it took a long time for me to get to this point, so mixed feelings again, uh, but I'm excited to dive more deeply into that in the, uh, in the review that I'm sure I've already posted by the time this goes up, but I am finishing this book tonight if it is the death of me. It's about 9 p.m., and I will finish it before I go to bed, or I will die. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, so update. I'm very much in the middle of the climax right now, and I've only just realized why I have so many mediocre feelings about a lot of this book, and that is because I just don't love the way that Lee Bardugo writes action. I don't think it's very compelling and I think it's very, like it's clear, but I think it's almost too clear. It's not emotional enough. So reading the action doesn't feel that exciting for me. And this book is a lot more action heavy than the previous one. I did it. I finished the book and I actually like the way it ended. I think, I think it has potential. The climax definitely got a lot better when it wasn't just like the army when it got more personal with the Darkling and all that stuff, like kind of spoilers, sorry. But y'all knew the Darkling was coming back, don't lie to me. I have very mixed feelings about this one too. It's kind of like the first one. There are a lot of things that I liked about it and there are a lot of things that I didn't like about it. So I think it's still a kind of a resounding eh. Uh, but we'll see if the third one could kind of save the series for me. We shall see, but that is a problem for another day, because tonight I am going to bed. See you tomorrow. 
Uh, hey guys, so I'm still bad at vlogging, but it's about mid-afternoon on Saturday and I've done my makeup. I did a live stream while doing my makeup and then I started Ruin and Rising. I'm only about 20 pages in so far. I mean, it's fine. It's not, I, I don't expect the first 20 pages of a book to be outstanding and if it is, then like props to you. Uh, but you know, I am I'm still hoping that it will improve and I'll end up enjoying the series uh, because that's all we can do at this point. But yeah, I'm about to film. I got my camera set up, I got my lights set up, uh, and I'm gonna do a fun little video today, and then I'm gonna write my review for Siege and Storm and film that tomorrow. So we have lots in the works, and, uh, and that's kind of the plan for today. But I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done because I am very behind on this read-along, Grishalongathon, read-a-thon, uh, and I need to catch up. Okay, so it is the next day, it is Sunday. And I'm just opening Ruin and Rising for the first time today, uh, as it is morning. Alina's still being the worst. So I was just, I literally just cracked this open and already I'm so mad at her. Her friend Tamar is basically giving her clues with her voice. She's like, you can trust Kenya. And then now she's like turning on all her friends. It's like, oh, you're supposed to trust these people, you, you, you know. You've gone through a lot with them, especially David. Like, how could she turn around David? Her excuse is he put the collar on me, but it's like, you literally saw him like tear himself apart about that for forever. How, like, it, it's, wow, this is easy. The apparat is having such an easy time manipulating you. This is ridiculous. Anyway, that's where I'm at. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. You know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for Alina to realize that she's been shallow and vain and for her and Zoya to just like be good friends. Wouldn't that be nice if they just became friends? Because Zoya really hasn't done much but threaten Alina's very frail sense of self and her in like make her insecurities flare up. Really Zoya hasn't done that much except for like go after Mal which you know it's kind of, it, it's not nice, but it's kind of fair game, kind of, I don't know. Alina's just shallow and insecure, and I would love to see them move past that and become friends. That'd be nice. It's night now, and I'm only on page 67. I, I didn't think it was going to be a busy day, but it ended up keeping me busy. So I'm hoping to do a bit more reading tonight, but we're gonna do a family board game night. Uh, we're playing Risk, which is a super long game. It's Game of Thrones Risk, which I am so excited about. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how far I'm gonna get into this today. I'm hoping that I can get to at least page like 120, um, but we'll see. Another day, another time that Alina is driving me insane. So basically now she's kind of, oh boy, uh, she's kind of become like weirdly a weirdly good leader when she's talking to other people but her inner monologue is still like woe is me I'm so lonely I don't know what I'm doing but then the moment someone is like presents her with an opportunity she's like Cersei Lannister it's just a lot and it's still I'm still confused as to who she is in fact I would say I'm even more confused than ever with who she is uh, I'm about 80 pages in so we did not make the 120 mark that I was hoping to do last night because we were playing Risk, um, Game of Thrones Risk, and it hit. it's so good, but I'm doing so poorly, guys. I am playing as the Tyrells, and I have the Lannisters to the north trying to kill me. I have, uh, I forgot, the Dornish? I think it's the Dornish to the south trying to kill me. Like, there are, I'm surrounded by armies. Things are not looking good. I'm gonna die. So, I will update you on that, um, but... Overall, we're just having a bad time. You know, I, even though I don't like Alina very much, I I will say there are characters that I like. I love Genya and I love um, David and Mal's interesting. Like, there's a lot of interesting players, the twins. So, you know, I can't I can't be that mad. There are things that I like. There are things to look forward to. Okay, so I'm on page 102, and finally, finally, Alina and Zoya have had a moment of like, oh, you're not the worst person in the world. Just one moment, and it feels so good, because, like, I don't understand their beef. Like, I understand they're both kind of into Mal, but like, jeez, it's been going on forever, and finally, 
finally Alina was like yeah you may not be the worst person in the world but like uh thank you took you long a freak enough it's so good there's a twist I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin it for anyone but it's on page 118 it's great I'm so excited Nikolai is also the best and I'm just gonna throw that out there and this book is getting good I'm at the climax <clears throat> and uh Feeling emotions, I'm not gonna lie. I finished the book. It wrapped up kinda nicely, if I'm honest. It won me over. I didn't like the first two books, but I like this book. And I'm kinda, I'm gl kinda glad I read it. On to the next. Hello everyone, it is currently the 30th of December. And you have not received updates for the last few days because I've been extremely busy and unfortunately not extremely busy reading. I have completely failed the Grisha Longathon. I'm about 20 pages into uh, Six of Crows. I'm going to keep reading it. Worry not. You will get your reviews. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not finish the books. Uh, so... It's just gonna take longer because your girl was busy. I had an amazing time over the holidays, spending time with my family and doing some really fun things and hanging out and it was exactly what I needed. We went to Niagara Falls. It's freezing here in Canada, but I'm still having ice cream. All right, Saints. We just had a really nice day at Niagara Falls and then we got some food at a pub on Niagara at the lake or no, Niagara on the lake, sorry. Um, and then walked around for a bit and now we're gonna head home. We went to Medieval Times. I took my brother to an improv show. I had so, so much fun, but I did not finish the readathon. So you'll probably get this as your reading vlog. And then depending on how this goes, you may get another reading vlog for the Six of Crows, uh, but this is probably a disaster, so thanks for joining. Il était 5 heures et je me lève en surdant mon lit. Je n'ai pas dormi aussi mal que depuis la nuit. Sadie. All right, to the falls then, Jordan. <laughs> 